Now, the Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission has voted unanimously to ban the use of chokeholds by officers with no exceptions. Dozens of people spoke up in a public comment portion, all of them pleading with the commission to ban chokeholds completely. Commissioners clarified they meant to do this back in December, but then realized a life or death exception still remained in the policy. The Milwaukee Police Union officials say chokeholds are not a technique used by officers to restrain people, and the state law allows for officers to use them in self-defense. Now Milwaukee officers could face discipline or be fired. A new federal reform proposal, the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, would withhold grants from agencies, state or local governments, that do not have a law prohibiting the use of a chokehold. The bill passed the House in March. Right now it's stuck in the divided Senate, while Democrats and Republicans hash out the details. That could be finalized by the end of the month. Taking a look at how police practices could be changing in Wisconsin, last month Governor Evers' Racial Disparities Task Force issued some recommendations for police officers but did not call for a total ban of chokeholds. Under the recommendations, chokeholds would still be allowed in life or death situations or in self-defense. Governor Evers had also proposed creating a statewide definition of what qualifies as an excessive use of force, but the task force was unable to come to a consensus.